In San Antonio in 2016, more than 50,000 children live in a household where the grandparent is the sole caretaker. That's according to data from the U.S. Census Bureau. An organization right here in the Alamo City is helping those grandparents transition into becoming parents all over again. The organization SA Grandparents Raising Grandchildren offers legal, financial, and health resources. But as GMSA at 9, Stephanie Huertas reports, support is now coming from Bear County. And I was robbed for being a grandmother. Mercedes Bristol raises her five grandchildren. And the little ones learning how to play the guitars. She took on the role after their parents were declared unfit. At the time, she was taking pain pills and a lot of other things and not living in a stable home. My son had... Uh, had had some problems himself. Taking on this new responsibility was tough. At first, she didn't know what programs and resources were out there. That's when Bristol and Delia Martinez started an organization called SA Grandparents Raising Grandchildren. They help direct grandparents to different resources. Desiree Mata attended one of their meetings. It's very hard. Mata takes care of two grandchildren. My grandchildren's father died in 2008. My daughter was murdered in June, on June 16 of 2016. Child Protective Services, in trying to protect children, we're placing children with family members, relatives such as grandparents, aunts, uncles, any adult family members, and then ultimately they were closing cases out and providing no structure, discipline, and ultimately no custody orders. Bear County Judge Peter Sakai listened to these grandparents' issues. We've gotten custody orders for these grandparents. Judge Sakai says after presenting the program to the commissioner's court last year, they were able to get money to provide legal services, which open many avenues. This has opened up access to food stamps, government assistance, just basic necessities for these children. If we need to take buses to, to, to Austin, you know, we'll, we'll do that. We have people now that are willing to help us. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News.